Thanks for watching with us this morning. Two local women joining forces to help people suffering from a disabling condition. Stacey Engebretson has more in this morning's NBC 26 Cares. Lymphedema is a chronic condition where the lymphatic system fails to drain fluid, cells and proteins away from tissues in the body. It causes fluid retention and excessive swelling. In the U.S., about 5 to 10 million people have it. Now, two women are on a mission to bring hope and help to those suffering from it in Northeast Wisconsin. Eight years ago, Jennifer Edmondson learned she had breast cancer. It was a very horrible, horrible time for me and my family. Chemotherapy, radiation and surgery saved her life, but they also caused a common secondary condition for many cancer survivors called lymphedema. A swelling that seemed very strange and it felt like the skin was really being stretched to its limit and I knew something was wrong. Edmondson began seeing Teresa Iatoni. So what I'm doing is I'm um, directing the fluid across Jennifer's back. A specialty certified lymphedema therapist at Advanced Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine in Grand Chute. It was during these <laughs> sessions over the last number of years that we actually started talking about Teresa's dream and also my dream to start a nonprofit. Now their dreams are reality. Edmondson recently launched her new nonprofit called Health Education and Welfare. The organization will help patients pay for their compression garments. Our clients, especially with Medicare, have limited to no coverage for lymphedema garments. And garments can can range in price from anywhere from $40 to $2,000. Without those garments, a lot of people will then be at higher risk for developing the cellulitis infection, possibly sepsis, which could result in amputation or death. The nonprofit is also putting on the Advances in Lymphedema Care Personal Empowerment Conference next month. We'll have 14 exhibitors at this event, and so they'll be able to touch and feel the products themselves. Patients will also hear from an attorney about workers' rights and a UW Health surgeon. I think it's just great that Dr. Micheletti is coming from Madison to talk about options. It, I don't think people know about options. Nancy Copeland says trading stories and tips with other lymphedema sufferers will also help with the emotional struggle. I think the support is really important. This is the first time lymphedema patients will be given a voice and a venue to come together and meet each other in a safe and welcoming environment and to learn about their options. Attendees will also learn about the benefits of yoga and Tai Chi. The conference is being held on Saturday, November 17th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Fox Valley Technical College. For more information, go to NBC26.com. Stacey Angabretson, NBC26.